What should I read next? You might ask this question a lot to yourself, right? Well, you don't need to worry anymore because the book you should read is called Steal Away Home by Lois Ruby. This book is here to get you interested in the most fun reading you will ever have because it takes you back in time and to the present day of what you will find extraordinary. Hi, I read this book, Steal Away Home by Lois Ruby, and this book is a historical fiction book, but it doesn't even feel historical fiction because it has so many twists and turns within it, and it's like... The, but the only confusing thing about this book was that every other chapter you would switch from present day and then you'd go and to 1856 and there's two main characters. The one that lives in present day which is Dana and then the second character is James that lives in 1856. And that was the really only confusing part about this book was just starting to read it because of that. But then Dana has to do something for her parents and that is peeling wallpapers off the wall and she finds a secret that she doesn't know what to do with. And hence the name Secret because really she doesn't know what to do. A secret. A secret. A secret. A secret. A secret. Dana's first clue about the secret was after she was peeling the wallpaper down and on page four of this book it says Dana chipped away at a circle of the wallpaper with a carpet cutter until the grew until the wall grew less spongy. The knife clunked against something hard and she turned the knife like a screwdriver and bored a little hole through the layers of paper. She worked it around and around, making the circle even wider until she'd ground out a peephole the size of a walnut. After she did that, she realized there was a room. That was her secret. That there's a room, and it is a bedroom, exactly. And she shines a flashlight through the peephole and is looking through the peephole at the same time, and she finds out there's a cot in there. And there's something laying on the cot that you wouldn't find in any houses today. But then, that's not the only secret to this book because James also has to keep the secret and he has to keep it away from keep the secret from his father because his mother has him and his sister take part of the Underground Railroad and that is when the slaves come and stay at their house for a night or two and James's mother would do that whenever James's father's out on a like a business thing in Washington DC because they'd have to talk about stuff and then one day James comes home from a friend's house and he sees his mother standing next to a colored woman and the colored woman isn't a slave and her name is Elizabeth Charles and she asked James's mother to teach her how to read and write like a normal person and but then James's father comes back from one of his trips and Elizabeth Charles is still in the house and James's mother makes her go up in that room that Dana's just figuring out about now and James would have to bring food to her each and every day until and Elizabeth Charles wasn't allowed to leave that household or not even just the house, she wasn't able to leave the room. And that was hard because she had to be in the room with complete darkness 24 hours each day that James' father was home. And then something happened to Elizabeth Charles, but I'm not going to tell you because that would be just giving away everything to the book. So I suggest you guys pick up this book and read about it. It is a very fun read. Everyone has a secret, but it's how you want to keep it or not. This is a good theme for the book because when Dana found the secret room, she told her parents. Then the whole town knew about it. But then James has to keep his secret from his father because he doesn't want his family to get in any trouble. I hope you enjoyed listening to my book review about Steal Away Home by Lois Ruby, and I hope that one day you will pick up this book and read it because it is a really fun read.